Hello, I'm Dr. He Fengjia, Associate Professor of Environmental System Analysis at the School of Environment at Tsinghua University and Director of Center for Urban Runoff Control and River Restoration. In this section of the MOOC on Co-creating Sustainable City, I will introduce you to the challenge that the world system in Chinese city face. Then, in the next two videos, I will introduce to the Spawn City concept and how this helped answer the challenge. This is a photo I took 2003 in Foshan, a typical industry city in southern China. We can see crowded buildings with nearly no permeable and green space surface. Many cities are constructed in a similar way. This photo shows the severe flooding of Beijing, which happened on the 21st of July 2012. What we see is the road, not the river, and not at the top of the car. During that storm, 1.6 million people were affected, 77 people died, and the direct economic loss was 11.6 billion yuan RMB. Similar flooding disasters have also occurred in other big cities such as Shanghai, Guangzhou, and Wuhan. This is a photo of the Maladorous Black Urban River that also took in Foshan in 2003. The river is located in the center of the city. The water quality was serious polluted and ecological conditions were degraded. China is experiencing a rapid urbanization process. From 1952 to 2008, the urban population as percentage of the total population increased from 12.5 to 45.7%. In 2011, 50% of the Chinese population was living in urban areas, and it is expected that this will be 60% in 2020. Urbanization leads to social and economic progress, however, it also has an impact on the urban water system. In particular, the quantity and the quality of urban water are affected. As the figure show, during urbanization process, natural permeable service, such as forest and natural waterways, are converted to roads, site works and building. This form of improbable suit service. This suit service decreases water infiltration rate and capacity, evaporation of water, and increased urban rough quantities. This impact is shown in this curve, called a hydrograph. Here, you can see runoff the water before urbanization. Notice the delay in time before runoff occur. After urbanization, the hydrograph show a higher peak flow, early peak time, and more runoff volume. Water can no longer infiltrate in the ground. It is not retained by green space and flow at higher velocity due to smoother surface. This results in a more and more serious flood and less infiltration of water during and after precipitation. As a consequence, the areas will get drier and increase temperatures, hence stimulating urban heat island effect. This is also seen in Chinese cities. In 2008, a survey in 351 cities were conducted, which showed that 213 cities have more and more extreme flood events. This is about 60% of the surveyed city. Among 40% of the city have more than three flood disasters per year. In Beijing, for example, there's about 50 local standing water points per year. You can imagine that is posed a challenge for daily life. So, urbanization has an adverse impact on the urban water system. The change in water quantity form a multiple challenge. Another aspect of the urban water system that is impacted by urbanization is the water quality. Urban water is polluted with multiple pollutants, including suspended solid, nutrient, micro pollutants, and heavy metal, such as lead and zinc. These pollutants originate from traffic, industries, flooding, sewer, and uh, waste dumped in urban environment. Not only are the pollutants spread throughout the city during the flood, but they are also transported to the environmental downstream of the city. Thus, 
The environment around the urban areas is also polluted. Studies have shown that modification of stream ecology in a watershed occur when the proportion of the silt versus permeable areas increase. Once this proportion reaches 10%, researchers see major decline in habitat and water quality indicators. If the proportion reaches more than 25%, the healthy stream ecology usually cannot sustain and the environmental degradation will occur. So, in conclusion, Chinese cities are growing, and the increase of urban areas has an adverse impact on quantity and quality of the urban water system. This affects not only natural and quality of life in cities, but also public health. Next, I will introduce you to the concept that is currently being implemented to mitigate this.